and welcome back to Repeat A YouTube series. A rite of passage, as you probably know, is doing honors research. This research culminates in an honors thesis you'll proudly hand in when you graduate. A lot of students, though, are really worried and overwhelmed by research. They ask, how do I even start? I've been there too, but fortunately, in this video, we have a variety of students who come together to tell you about their experience with research and how they got involved. Hi everyone, my name is Anjay and I'm a third year neurobiology major here at UCI. I'm also part of the campus-wide honors program and I'm here to tell you a little bit about how I got into research as a bio student and also how I managed my time between research and my honors classes and just the honors curriculum in general. So let's start off with how I got into research. I actually got into research during my first year, definitely during spring quarter, so more towards the end. And I got an email from a lab that was looking for undergraduates to join their team. And the research was on biomarkers for Parkinson's disease. And when I got this email, I saw the title and I was just like, that sounds very interesting. I'd love to do that. So I sent them back an email expressing my interest. And I honestly did not expect to hear back just because I was a freshman and I didn't really have much experience. I ended up hearing back, did an interview, showed them my resume and all that fun stuff. And then I ended up getting in. I honestly feel like I got a little lucky finding research. If you don't hear back the first time, don't be discouraged. Just keep trying, be persistent, and something will definitely come through. So even though I got the opportunity during my first year, I didn't actually start researching or conducting research until my second year. Um, and that was a bit of a struggle easing into second year with those harder classes and also trying to balance research and just the time I wanted to spend with my friends. It definitely took a lot more organizing and time management, which I definitely feel like I lacked first year, but creating more of a structure was something that really helped me balance research and any of my classes I, that I had, including honors classes and bio classes, but it's definitely doable. Yeah, I hope that helps. I definitely think research is a great thing to get into. Even if you decide it's not for you, at least you have that experience under your belt and you know kind of what to do moving forward. So I definitely say it may not be easy for you to get research, but keep reaching out and keep trying your best to hear back from people and I'm sure they'll get back to you. And in terms of balancing it, make sure that you find the right number of hours that works for you. You don't want to overcommit to research and then fall behind in your classes or fall behind in research because you can't come in those all those hours. I hope this helps and I look forward to the adventure that you all will encounter with research. Hello everyone, my name is Isaac and I'm a third year human bio major and I'm just going to talk a little bit about my research here at UCI. Uh, while I was signing up for my classes for spring quarter during my second year, I came across this professor who had a PhD in immunology. And because that was one of my interests, I looked up her lab on the Bio199 website and I read about all the projects that she and her team was working on and I thought they were very interesting. So I sent her an email asking if I could join and luckily she let me in. So I've been a part of, the, I've been a part of that lab um, for ever since the summer after my sophomore year. And what I do each day is a little bit different depending on what my grad student gives me. But because the project that I work on is on the microbiome, which is essentially on bacteria, one day I could be doing an experiment of DNA extraction, I could be doing one on PCR another day, or um, looking at bacteria under a microscope for a cold treatment. Now, I, I think everything that I've done in this lab is extremely interesting, and I think it's really rewarding and overall really fun. So for you guys, it's a really exciting opportunity, but there are two things that I would recommend. Um, that you consider as you're looking to research. The first one being uh, the time commitment, right? If you're looking into joining a bio lab, from what I've seen, they pretty much ask for about three to four units a quarter at the very least, and each unit is about four hours. So at the very minimum, you're looking at 12 hours a week of research, and depending on the lab that you join, your PI may ask for more time. And you know, 12 hours is a lot, right? Especially since I know some of you guys may have a job, um, you could be involved in campus organizations, and we're all studying for other classes, so that's already a lot of time. Um, so it's not impossible though, just you gotta get good at time management, right? And so the second thing I wanna talk about is um, making sure that the lab that you join is something that you're interested in, right? So when you're looking up these faculty members, when you're looking up these labs, make sure you read about all the projects that they work on, and make sure that the lab that you join is something that you wanna be doing, right? Um, 12 hours is a lot of time and it's gonna feel even longer if 
what you're researching, all the experiments that you're doing is something that you're not passionate about. So overall, two things, right? Be ready to time manage and make sure that the lab you join is something that you like. So that's all I have to say about research um, for now. I hope you guys stay safe during this time, staying healthy, and I just wish you all the best in your future academic pursuits and endeavors. So, bye guys. Hello, my name is Elijah Punzal. My pronouns are he and they, and I am part of the CHC class of 2020. My majors at UCI are drama and education sciences with a minor in urban studies. So I've accomplished quite a lot here at UCI um, in my past four years being a student. And so I'm here to talk to you specifically today about doing research in the arts. I officially joined research roughly around my winter or spring quarter of my junior year when I was looking for an advisor for my thesis. What's really cool about my particular journey with research at the drama department is that I've been involved, involved with a lot of research-based performances and projects. So those turned into plays I did on campus and those ranged in lots of different ways, particularly with um, uh, one of the PhD faculty in the drama department, Dr. Daphne Lei, and she helps um, one of the Asian Pacific Islander student theater groups on campus. And so she creates a lot of really cool things in regards to performances of revolving our research on immigration, um, on documentation, citizenship status, mental health in the Asian Pacific Islander community, and all things like that. So one of the reasons why I sort of was looking into a particular kind of research um, and I was looking into ethnography and looking at the student theater groups is because I actually um, in my time at UCI have been involved with the Asian Pacific Islanders student theater group on campus known as Theater Walks um, and that has been a really transformative experience for me and I was look really looking forward to understanding and doing research based on my experiences with Theater Walks as well as witnessing and experiencing some of the other impacts that the student theater groups do on campus. Now, when I was trying to find a faculty for that, I was looking into someone who I've taken classes with already, someone who I know knows my writing style very well, someone who knows my passions in the drama department very well, and so the professor I ended up going with for my advice uh, for my research project was Dr. Tara Rodman, phenomenal critical thinker in the drama department, and I felt like she would be one of the best suited faculty mentors for me because she says has all three things that I mentioned earlier and as well as I have a very good relationship with her. Uh, she's one of my favorite teachers that I've learned under particularly with the types of classes that she does teach here at the drama department. Basically to summarize my research I am conducting an ethnographic study on the UCI student theater groups specifically revolving around social identity groups um, so that includes Theater Walks, the Asian Pacific Islander Student Theater Group, Brownback Theater um, Group, Brownback Theater Company, which is the Latinx Theater Group, uh, Brick Theater Company, which is the LGBTQ plus um, student theater group, and Black Door, which is the Black slash African American Student Theater Group. And so what I did was I looked at these four groups and I sort of was looking in ways of how these groups can create a sense of belonging on campus. Well, what I think is really cool about research, especially in the arts, is that it can be so creative. I actually have a friend who was a past CHP, uh, back when it was called CHP, um, student, and she did her final on a recreating a period dress. And I thought that was really, really cool just to see kind of those culminations of creativity, but also research. And arguably, I definitely take the more uh, literature, uh, academic based uh, creative process in my research. But I also think there's a lot of potential opportunities to really engage yourself in what kind of research makes you happy. And I think that's one of the things that I've learned from approaching my honors thesis from all different directions and sort of like funneling it down to where it is now, is that at the end of the day, like my research has something that really connects with me and my experiences at UCI. And I tried to also bridge together my two majors, the um, education sciences and drama, and like kind of bring them together in order to create this sort of nuanced ethnographic study that takes my disciplines and gives me synergy in ways that I didn't think was initially possible when I was thinking of my thesis in the first place. Thank you so much for listening to my video. Any more questions or concerns, then I will hopefully hear some more cool stuff about what CHC art students have in the future. All right, see ya.
So my decision to join a lab was a little bit more impulsive than some of the other experiences I've heard. I was staying at UCI for summer session, and I'd become interested in memory research while taking Psychology 9B earlier that year. When I saw a post in the Honors Facebook about how the Working Memory and Plasticity Lab was looking for RAs, it struck me as a really interesting opportunity, so I contacted them and got an interview. I read up on some of the studies going on in the lab, which helped me get the position, and I'm still there two years and two year art projects later. The professor, lab manager, and grad students have all been incredibly supportive. Since joining, I've been able to learn how to do data cleaning and analysis, write good research proposals and protocols, interact with study participants, create visually appealing posters, and present research findings to a general audience. I've also been able to use the lab's existing projects to develop my own ideas and design my own studies with the financial support of Europe. For example, my current study looks at how virtual reality games can be used to measure risk propensity. Last year, I was even able to present my research at a psychology conference in Los Angeles. I know that we learn a lot of useful information in our classes, but for me, research has given a great opportunity to really be able to apply all the facts that we know. In my case, I kind of stumbled onto research a bit informally, um, but I kind of followed the same general ideas. Um, I was reading for one of my classes in my first year, and I didn't really agree with what the book was saying. And so I went to my professor's office hours to kind of talk about, you know, what I was thinking. Um, after meeting with him a couple of times, he eventually offered me a position on um, a research project that one of his grad students was running, where I basically coded data uh, for about a year. Um, fast forward to the end of my second year now, when I was planning to work on my own uh, honors thesis. I went back to the same professor um, because I kind of had some general interests in the same field as him. Um, and he unfortunately uh, couldn't be my faculty advisor, but because I had outlined some things that I was interested in, he was able to point me in the direction of three other professors. Um, and so I reached out to all of them saying, you know, I was a professor, so and so student. Um, these are my interests. And he said that potentially, you know, this might be something that you're interested in. And so one of the professors got back to me immediately the next day. And so I went to speak with him during his office hours about what I was thinking for a potential project, um, what I want to do with it, where I want to go with it. Um, he gave his advice and his critiques on the project and some things I should change. And he ultimately agreed to be my faculty advisor uh, for my research project. For a lot of you, research won't be in the typical laboratory setting where you work on some overarching group project. Um, in fact, for a lot of you, you're going to be doing your own individual research project, um, especially of those of you in the humanities, the arts, ICS engineering, um, even social ecology and the social sciences. Um, you'll most likely be doing your own individual research project, which is led just by a faculty mentor and where you manage pretty much all of the work. Just because your honors thesis may be your first major individual research project doesn't mean it has to be a place of you know, stress or anxiety. Um, the first place to really start is to just look at your classes and find what you're interested in. Um, if there's things that you want to know more about, um, something that you think is really cool, this is the place to start. Once you kind of have a general understanding of what you're interested in or you know something you want to learn more about or just some kind of general baseline for what your research may look like, um, this is the time to kind of reach out to professors. Um, you could reach out to the professors who are teaching your classes or professors you find on your school's website, for example, whatever the case may be. Um, this is the time to either go to their office hours, send an email just to say, hey, you know, this is who I am. Um, I know that you're interested in this and this is what I'm kind of thinking about. Um, can we talk about this? And, you know, if they say yes, great. And from that point, that's where you can kind of talk more about and sift through your ideas a little bit and, you know, see where it goes from there. Hopefully you feel less overwhelmed about research. Remember though, that everybody has their own unique and different research experience and you don't really have to follow any clear cut path. Also remember, you're part of an honors community and there are lots of people here to support you if you have any questions about research. That includes the PAAs and office hours or the academic advisors. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.
We'll see you next time.